Okay, hello again everyone. So we're going to take another look at percentages with decimals. There's a few of you who were struggling with the method for how to do that today. Yep. First thing I want you to do is copy the place value charts that we've got on the board here. So just to recap, if you don't remember, we use this to look at the position of the numbers in relation to the decimal. Okay, so you've got this column which represents hundreds, tens, ones, 0.1s and 0.01s, okay? So yeah, copy that into your books and you can use that for extra assistance if you're finding the method difficult. Right, so look at how do we calculate 100% first? So do we divide it by two, do we divide it by 10 or do we do nothing? Yeah, do nothing at all, zero change. What about 50%? Divide by 2. Simple. For 10%, do we divide by 100 or divide by 10? Divide by 10. Yep. For 1%, divide by 100. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if this shows up on the video, but we'll practice a few of these anyway. So first one we got is 10% of 35. So if we want to draw 35 onto the place value chart. So where are we going to put it? Not in the 100 column, in the 10s column, yeah? So 3, 5. Right. And we want to know 10% of 35. So what are we going to divide it by? Are we going to divide by 100? No, look, 10%. Divide by 10. Okay, so how are we going to do that? Here we have it on the place value chart. We're going to divide it by 10. Simple way to do it is we're going to move 3 and 5, 1 to the right. Yeah. So if we do it like this, let me write it in here. 3 and 5. What does that give us? It gives us 3.5. Yeah. So 10% of 35 is 3.5. Okay, another way of looking at it, let's write 35 here. Okay, here we have the whole number, so we don't need the points, don't need the decimal because it's already a whole number, but if we were to write it, it would be here. Now, when we divide it by 10, we want 10%. Mm -hmm. All we need to do is move the decimal one place to the left. Yep. This is for 10%. Okay, but what can we do if we need 1%? We're going to divide it by 100. So we move the decimal point two places to the left, yep, giving us 0 0.35. This would be 1%. Okay, hope I'm not going too fast here, but let's try a few more, see if we can get on. Right, so try to guess what we're going to be doing as we go through. So next one, 10% of 830, so 830, yeah, we're going to do 10%, so how many places do we move it? One to the right, yep, yeah. so 8 is going to go here, 3 is going to go here, 0 is going to go here, that gives us 8, 3.5. 0, 83.0. Okay, we're going to write it here. 83.0. Now, because it's a whole number, we don't really need the point zero, so the answer is just going to be 83. Yep. Uh, let's do it here as well, so you can see the other method. 830. Right, I think, where do we put the decimal point when it's a whole number? at the end, yep, yeah? dividing by 10, so where do we move the decimal point to? Yeah, so it becomes 83, mm -hmm. simples. Right, and one more, 10% of 12, okay, so again, put it on the place value chart, 12. So, dividing it by 10, where are we going to move it to on the place value chart? We move it 
1 to the right, which gives us 1.2. Simples. If we wanted to use it the easy way, 12, you would have the point here, because it's a whole number. Now, think, how many places do you move it to the left? Do we move a 1 to the left for 10% or a 2 to the left? Because it's 10%, we move it 1 to the left, yep, which gives us 1.2. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Right, now let's look at calculating 1%. So 1% of 200, so let's move it in here, 200. Zero, zero. Now, 1 we're doing 1%, 1 we divide by what? We divide it by 100. Yeah. So think about how many places are we going to move it? We're going to move it 1 to the left, or sorry, we're going to move it 1 to the right, or 2 to the right? We're going to move it 1 to the left, we're going to move it 1 to the right, or 2 to the right? We're going to move it 1 to the right, or 2 to the right? It would be 2 to the right in this case, as we're dividing by 100, yeah. Which gives us 2 point zero zero so the whole number is two answer two All right let's do it here the fast way 200 the decimal point is at the end because it's currently a whole number now when we're doing one percent we don't just move it here but we move it two places across yep so the decimal point goes here giving us two this is one percent Okay, it kind of looks like a Garfield, but never mind. <laughs> yep. So yeah, answer should be two here. All right, next one. E, 1% of 250. Okay. If you want to continue with the player's value way, if that's easier for you to do less, but let's try it the simple way as well. 250. Now remember, decimal point at the end, it's a whole number, 250, where do we move it to? 1 or 2 across, because we're dividing by 100. We're dividing by 100, so it just goes 2 across, which gives us what? What would the number be? <laughs> Another face. 2.5, yep. 2.5, last one, let's do 55. Right, 1% of 55, we put the decimal point here, whole number, how many points do we move it to the left? 1 or 2? So remember, move it once for 10%, twice for 1%. Yeah. What do we want? We want 1% of 55. So we're going to move it, not 1, but 2 to the left. 